I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice to put some of those Halloween wrappers to good use? So today, we're going to make some picture frames. <laughs> Just a simple post-Halloween craft. Uh, it's kid-friendly. However, because we may be using scissors and some super glue, I do advise having an adult around if any small children are going to be making this. I don't anticipate it will be too difficult, but I haven't made a craft like this since I was a Girl Scout, so we shall find out together. I didn't test any of these materials. For supplies, I have some wooden picture frames that I got from Michaels, just a dollar a piece. Really nice, simple wooden frames. You can see here they're pretty rudimentary. It came with these little holes that you were supposed to put here and here, but I'm not really sure how to get them in. It, it seems like they are just not the right size for the holes, so I think I'll be using them. So I'm thinking maybe afterwards I'll pull this staple out a little bit and attach some string to it, or perhaps even just lean the pictures against something. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so, there's the frames. I'm also going to be using some... I'm going to start with this stuff, the Elmer's No Wrinkle Rubber Cement. It's acid-free, photo-safe, shelter... oh, shatter-resistant bottle. Uh, an easy brush applicator, and it supposedly dries clear. I like the idea of no wrinkle rubber cement because when you're working with paper, especially thin paper, it tends to wrinkle with these kind of crafts. What do you think of the sounds on this one? But should that fail, no worries, I do have some backups. Old Faithful, the crazy glue. I hope it hasn't dried. I haven't opened it in a while, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> crazy glue is good for everything. And I also have just some regular duct tape. Regular duct tape, what am I talking about? I also have some regular masking tape. I took the label off just because. Maybe I should have mentioned before, <laughs> I am planning on this being an ASMR style tutorial. So I will be playing with sounds as well as making the craft. Um, in some past tutorials, I've put the instructions on the bottom. Here I'm going to try my best to just um, explain what I'm doing as we're going. It's kind of unusual for me to talk about what I'm making as I'm making it, so it's a good skill for me to learn. <laughs> for the candy wrappers, I have a wonderful assortment here. I bought this at the beginning of October for the trick-or-treaters, and I think I ate more of them than they did. <laughs> kind of in a Tootsie Roll theme, which works all right with me. There's a bit of honey wrapper. I think for this kind of craft, penny store candy wrappers that have this kind of um, waxy feel are probably best. You use wrappers like this that have more of an aluminum, aluminum type crinkle, <laughs> aluminum, aluminum. It might be a little, it might not stay on the wood very well. And we want it to stay on the wood. So I'm going to put this one aside. I 
try to get more Mary Janes. When I was planning what candies I was going to use, in addition to Tootsie Rolls and a bit of Honeys, I wanted to use some Mary Janes because they're probably my favorite penny candy. But unfortunately, because of the thin, waxy paper, like the nature of the wrapper, it doesn't always come away clean. It sometimes leaves bits of candy on the outside, so I didn't get to save as many of these as I wanted to. enough for that. Let's get started. So here's our first frame. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's a gorgeous sound too. Wood sounds are some of my favorite ASMR sounds. I'm not much of a crafter, like I said, I haven't really done this sort of thing since I was in Girl Scouts, but I imagine that if we really wanted this to last, we should put some kind of sealant on the wood. I'm not sure what one would use for that. But in the meantime, I think this is going to be really cute. Even if it doesn't last very long, it's all right with me just because it was a dollar frame from Michael's. Okay, so let's get started. I think what I'm going to do is kind of, I'm trying to decide if I want to trim them first or This would look really good just like that. So let's try the Elmer's glue. Anyway, let's start off by brushing the wood. Trying, of course, not to get our fingers in the glue. Hmm. It is not staying on very well so far. Let's see. 
see, does it say whether I need to hold it down? Wash hands immediately after you after use. That's not comforting. Any damaged sewing surfaces? <laughs> well, it doesn't seem like the strongest kind of bond, but it does make a really cool sound. <laughs> Flexes like an Egyptian goddess cat. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like this. It doesn't stay on. Let's go for old faithful, shall we? Kind of weird how you open these, isn't it? You gotta like pop them with your needle. It's satisfying when it is done, though. Again, I think I'm just gonna put it on the wood side and not the the canopy side. I wonder if combining both <laughs> will help. If one will help the other. Or if I'm just making a huge toxic mess. <laughs> exactly what I wanted it to do. I don't mind the wrinkles so much in the wrapper. We'll probably cover them over and get a nice paper mache effect. What do you think? <laughs> right along. Mm. I want a bit of honey next. You know what? Let's do this. Let's keep it from building up too thick. I'm layering too many wrappers at once. That's what we're gonna do. Good old crazy glue. Yeah, if, if kids are doing this, you should definitely get help before playing around with crazy glue because it will bond your skin. And that's not always fun. I wish I had a hot glue gun. That would probably work best. Okay. I don't know if I have enough crazy glue to do this whole thing. Might need to go back to the Elmer's or the tape. Mm. 
It makes me kind of anxious to hold down the crazy glue when you're waiting for it to dry because I'm expecting it to stick to my finger at any moment. Here we go. This is going to be cool, I think. I'm sure there's someone on YouTube who does this better than I do, but I'm kind of just doing it on a whim. I think a lot of you know by now that I'm kind of a spontaneous person, so <laughs> I don't like planning things out more than I have to. They never turn out the way you want them to anyway, you know. It seems kind of excessive to over plan things in life as a general rule. I wonder if I can just do this and save some of the crazy glue. It drips like madness, I tell you. Oops. Got some rain on me. <laughs> that definitely looks like snot. <laughs> I'm gonna get a towel, I'll be right back. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Keeping paper towels around is definitely something I should have thought of before starting all this. <laughs> I'm just the most prepared YouTuber ever. Okay, so, where were we? I'm gonna trim this one off. I'm not gonna bother to mache the background. It, or the background. I'm not gonna bother to mache the, um, this part of the frame because I don't see the point. It's just gonna face a wall or something, right? What is the good of this Elmer's glue? It doesn't even stick to anything. Here we go. Come on. Stay put. It says it rubs right off when dry. That's so interesting. Why would you want a glue that rubs off when dry? Oops. <laughs> Making more of a mess. I mean, isn't the point of glue to stick and not rub off? You know what I want to use? I want to use... Yeah. I was looking for the orange one, but the blue one will do. I'm one of those people who likes the, um, the non-Tootsie Roll Tootsie Rolls as well. They're so fun. They remind me of Fourth of July parades because it's the kind of candy that they would always throw. Good, wipe that off good and clean so it will stop making a mess of my hands. Yeah, look at, I just soaked that and it didn't stay put. not gonna stay. Not at all. Super glue is everything. Come on, just get this bit out. Mm 
Can you see what I'm doing? I was thinking this would be a tutorial, but since I'm kind of fooling around, maybe I'll just call it a craft time. I'm sure there are troop leaders and so on who have way better strategies for making this than I do. So far, so good, though. I mean, I mean, look at it. It's not that bad, right? This could be like a fun camp craft or something. Pretty sweet, yo. Let's do another Tootsie Roll. Looked better with the white space in there. Oops. Let's do another one. I'll put that one in later. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't even know. Yeah, let's do a little one. Not even gonna bother with the Elmers. Not even. You know what would be another fun material to use to make something like this? Duct tape. I think that would be really cool. Again, I'm sure it's something that somebody with more crafting experience has definitely thought of. Already got 
super glue on my hands, I can tell. Nice. I bet another cool strategy for making this actually would have been to pre-cut all these, oh, yep, <laughs> super glue all over my thumb. Another cool strategy would have been to pre-cut all of these. <sighs> Isn't it the worst feeling when you get super glue on your thumb? <laughs> Can you hear it? It kind of makes like an extra plasticky rubbing sound. Anyway. <laughs> I think another cool way to make this would be to um, pre-cut these all beforehand so they fit the frame exactly and then glue them down. That would probably have been the more practical route. Warrior princesses don't need to be practical. Anyway, more crazy glue. I'll go back at the end, I think, and flatten all the edges that still stick up. What should I do next? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> It'd be great if, you know, there was a way that I could actually talk to you through here. Someday I'll do, like, a live video, and then I can get your responses, and we'll make something like this together. In the meantime, let's do what we can. Go with another yellow one. Now let's do the bit of honey. They're so tasty. They're so underrated. All the penny candy is kind of underrated today. Don't get me wrong, you know, I love a good Snickers or a Milky Way or something like that, but I'm not a total Neo Luddite antiquarian or anything, but is but I do happen to just enjoy the flavor of the old sweets they don't survive the test of time for nothing you know come on stay stuck there we go and honey Press it down, press it down. Oh, I did it upside down. <laughs> oh well, now it's now it's a versatile frame. You can hold it anyway. It's just a happy little accident, you know what I'm saying? I think part of the problem is it's and by it I mean the glue. I think part of the problem is the glue is sinking into the wood. why this might have been better with some kind of sealant to prevent that from happening. Instead of wasting the glue, I will just cut this piece off right here. Can you see?
I'm just the neatest girl ever. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but um, I wanted a little bit of ambient sound going on because I figured that it would be an interesting challenge for me to talk and craft. So I left a crackling candle in the background. And I kind of hope you can hear it because it makes a nice sound. That was, um, that was how I did the the fire effect sound in Xena 1 with a neat little Woodwick crackling candle. Not Woodwick the brand name, just Woodwick style of candle. That candle's like the best. They make everything feel a little bit nicer. that I cut badly. <laughs> As a general rule, I'm trying to keep the damaged sides on the outside, and then I can just cut that right off. keep the neat sides on the inside. I didn't do a very good job with that one. I left the heater on too for some extra ambience. You might hear it kick on from time to time. That's such a crazy season or weather. It's such a crazy fall in New England this year. It refused to get cold all through September and October and it just kept getting more and more humid. Um, I have very curly hair and for Zenith 3 I straightened my hair, no joke, four times that day and it still kept poofing up because the weather decided that Humid in October was a normal thing for New England. What are you going to do about it, I guess? There we go. There's that one. Yeah, it's a little too far in. I might just trim that if I can. There's some people um, who get really into crafts, I think, and they do a really, really wonderful job. It takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. I have mad respect for those people. But for myself, the fun thing about these kind of crafts is they don't have to look super neat all the time, you know? You can play with it. And Make a mess, have fun. If you have any kids, you can get your kids involved. Kind of folksy in a way. And of course, there's the added benefit of reusing some of our trash, so much trash. We throw out so much stuff in this country. I imagine a lot of other countries are the same too. I'll have to think of something to do with all these little scraps I'm cutting off. Maybe I could make like a confetti out of them. That would be kind of neat. Yeah, if you have any ideas for um, 
recycling and repurposing candy wrappers, feel free to leave me a comment. I always love reading them and I try to answer them. I think it would be helpful to other people too, to if you're really passionate about recycling and reusing, to see some examples of different things you can do with candy wrappers after Halloween. Okay, let's put a couple more on. <laughs> Gotta keep them from sticking to my sheet. <laughs> Sun orange one. There it is. Excellent. Throw it there or there. You know what? Neither. Neither. Let's do. Ooh, pink one. Yes! Oh my god, a pink one it is. Let's put a pink one right on here. It says cherry flavor. I'm kind of lukewarm on cherry flavored things, mostly because I had that universal childhood experience of being given cherry flavored cough syrup when I was sick. And <laughs> it's just oof. Left a bad taste in my mouth for a very long time. To this day, I'll eat, you know, artificial candy flavored foods and bleh. <laughs> it brings me right back to that cough medicine. Alright, let's pop this on here. Let's pop this on here. How big does it need to be? I'm not very. We can take this end off. I know I said I don't mind the wrinkles, and I don't, but I think giving it some clean lines makes it a little more mod-like. Tape is so useful. Don't stick too soon. Stick when I need you to stick. <laughs> Messing up my own crafts. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Ah. Stick into my plastic thumb. All right, so we're almost done with this one. God, so I finally saw Ragnarok. I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I know this is kind of a tangent, but not sure what else to say about candy wrappers, so let me just talk about my obsession, which is Thor Ragnarok. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys don't even know. I have been obsessed with Loki since I was in college, and he just gets better every single movie, and I'm sure it's half thanks to Tom Hiddleston being a phenomenal actor and or who am I kidding I'm sure it's almost like a hundred percent due to Tom Hiddleston being a phenomenal actor um, because each movie has a new director and it's so fascinating to me how different their interpretations of the character are and their interpretations of Thor's universe are and Thor himself I thought one of the most fascinating things about Ragnarok is that for the first time in three movies, Thor was actually more sympathetic than Loki. How did that even happen? It's like for two movies, Loki was totally outshining the hero of his own series. But in Ragnarok, that was not the case. 
for the first time, we actually sympathized with Chris Hemsworth's character. Which is not to say that Chris Hemsworth is a bad actor in any way. No, he's actually quite a talented actor. Um, but I think the way Thor had been set up was this kind of like a frat boy character in the past, and this time around he was given a lot of dimension and some character growth in the way that he approached Loki, who, you know, as we all know, is his evergreen traitor. I think, in fact, I'm going to revise my Loki video, maybe do a new one more in the theme of the Ragnarok portrayal of Loki. You guys will have to let me know what you think when it gets done. It's definitely far off in the future, maybe even next year. I have so many videos planned, but I don't know. I was just obsessed. I was obsessed with Ragnarok, and I think the direction they're taking Loki in is fantastic, and it's so fantastic to appreciate Thor as a character instead of just the accidental foil for his evil brother. Okay, so <laughs> here's our frame so far. What do you guys think? I like it. I think it's really cool. There's a little piece over here that I missed, and I'll fill that in right now. Then we'll do some cleanup and see. We'll see. Let's let me do some cleanup. Maybe check that one in there. Yeah, I think that's the plan. We'll tack that one in there. Oh my god, and Hella though. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a fangirl. Um, Kate Blanchett just killed it. She was fantastic. She was so fantastic. I swear to god, she looked 21. It's like 48 going on 21. That's phenomenal. I'm so jealous. If I look that good at 48, then, I mean, by that point, I actually am the goddess of death, so one can only hope. And Valkyrie, oh my god, Valkyrie is cool. I hope they develop her character more. I've always been meh on the Hulk, not my favorite character. Even with more development, he's still not phenomenal. In my humble opinion, of course. Oh look, you can see through it. <laughs> Whoops. That was not intentional. It doesn't look that bad, right? It looks kind of weird, but... Like I said, just for fun. I like making art, but I never said I was good at it. Bam. Okay, let's take this edge off here. Remember when we were kids and this was the kind of gift we'd give to our relatives on holidays? Good times, right? You remember the year I learned how to make 
God's Eyes, which are a really neat Native American, um, I don't know what to call it actually, like a yarn, we, we used yarn, it's probably not originally with yarn, um, but these really neat crafts that are made out of popsicle sticks and yarn or some other thread woven around each other, they make a really cool effect, but the, this, See, the year that I learned how to do that in school, I ended up making God's Eyes for everyone in my family. I had so much fun doing it. It's just a simple, repetitive gesture to make it, but kind of like knitting. It's just so freeing in that way. Good if you have anxious hands, as I sometimes do. Okay. Side up a bit here. If you had a scalpel, this would be perfect. Again, if you're a kid watching this, I do recommend talking to mom and dad before getting a scalpel. <laughs> I do not advocate small children using anything sharper than a pair of plastic play school scissors. So that's about what I'm going to get done with the scissors. Let's just try and glue down the corners a little more. So I've definitely seen Ragnarok twice now. <laughs> And I'm going again before it leaves theaters. I'm really lucky and there's a theater near my house that on Tuesday and Sunday offers five dollar showings including new releases. So it's been just fantastic. I've been going to see Ragnarok on those days. Definitely check out the theaters near you and see if they have similar special because it's just fantastic. Especially for those of us who need to save money, like myself. That's another reason that this is a really great project. If you're trying to save money and you want to decorate, do something fun, you can always paper mache with candy wrappers. Perfect for Halloween. And I missed that corner a little bit too, but I'm not going to worry about that. I wonder what you guys think of. Um, the new Justice League movie. It's interesting, I guess. I mean, personally, I'm a little over honest with my opinions, so I'll tell you straight up that personally I'm not excited about it. The Marvel movies are just killing it so much, I can't even imagine that DC has anything good up their sleeve. Dark Knight was really the last Thing that DC did that was really phenomenal. And I just can't forgive their choice of Gal Gadot for Wonder Woman. Nope, no thank you. Not my Wonder Woman. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. You wait right there. I think I know how I'm going to make this even cuter. Make it pop a little more. Paint time! Got some acrylic, my lovely handy dandy Mars Black acrylic paint. Just gonna take a little angled brush here and pretend I'm the fabulous, fabulous Bob Ross for a minute. Ooh, that was loud, sorry. And kinda 
making mistakes already. Not mistakes, happy accidents. Happy accidents always. This would have been another good idea as I should have, um, if I'd painted the whole frame first, that would have been good thinking. Note to self, next time, paint the whole frame first, get a hot glue gun, or maybe we could even like use regular Elmer's glue and kind of paper mache it. I do not remember how to do paper mache. I would have to watch some tutorials myself before I showed you. Another fun project we did when I was in Girl Scouts was um, paper mache balloons. And it's really cool because paper mache keeps the balloons shape so when you paper mache them um, you pop the balloon or you can let the balloon deflate on its own and you'll still have the you'll still have the, the shape of the balloon mine hung up in my room for god 10 years maybe It doesn't need to be solidly black, just kind of hide the wood a little bit. And it does wipe right off if you catch it fast enough. Once acrylic dies, you're only once acrylic dries, your only choice is to really chip it off or peel it off because it takes a plastic like consistency. But while it's wet, you can usually wipe it off. It dies when acrylic dies. I'm so morbid. It's the Capricorn in me. It makes you morbid. Dry, dark humor, so to speak. In past collage projects, I've used acrylic to hold down paper, but I figured since this paper is a little bit heavier, it probably would not hold as well. So I didn't bother to use acrylic to finish this. Or to, I didn't bother using acrylic as my glue. Okay, not so bad. And I'm going to do this outside rim as well. Acrylic dries very fast. It only takes about 15 minutes or so. Even at its thickest. That might even be too much. Too much time. You don't have to do this if you're making a frame of your own. This part is entirely optional. I'm just messing around. Help, since I wasn't up to putting pieces around the edges.
Do you think I'd get away with um, giving this as a gift now? Mm, could I get it too? Probably no one. Probably me. I'm the kind of person who'd appreciate this kind of thing. Technically, I don't use acrylic paints the right way. You're supposed to use them in a thin wash. You're not supposed to use them directly out of the tube. In art class in high school, I got rebellious when the teacher would tell us to use infinite thin washes. I hated it. I hated mixing paints. I hated taking the time. It took away from my ability to quickly make what I was trying to make in my mind anyway. So I rebelled and I didn't do it. So to this day I still stubbornly refuse to water down or mix my paints. It makes making art very hard for me. <laughs> This will make it look a little neater. What are we doing? You should see my bedroom. I've kind of given up trying to get acrylic. One of the reasons that I, I didn't put any newspaper down on this sheet or anything is I've totally given up trying to keep acrylic off my clothes and bedding and whatnot. If it's going to be there, it's just going to be there. That's just how it is. It makes me feel like Jackson Pollock. You know, a less problematic Jackson Pollock. Maybe. Who knows? not hate it at all. What do you guys think? Kind of a neat, fun way to recycle. I have way too many wrappers and not nearly enough frames. <laughs> Here, have a close look. Can you see my handiwork? And here's some nice tapping. I think that one's the ticket.
wouldn't that be cute? I think it's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was our little tutorial slash craft hanging out hour. I hope you enjoyed it. I had thought that I would be making both for you today, but um, it just occurred to me a second ago how awful trying to cover these corners would be, as well as how little um, crazy glue I have left. So we will probably be passing up on this one. Look at, I even made a mess on, I got my black paint all over it. But I'm going to hang on to it and maybe use it for another video. We'll make another interesting kind of picture frame. Maybe something more in the holiday theme. I apologize again for taking so long to make this video. I really wanted to get Xena 3 out. Um, it had been sitting on my <laughs> on my hard drive for a while. I have a very limited hard drive, so I can only save one video at a time. It's kind of a bummer because I'd love to save all the, the extra footage and outtakes for you guys. So it's a future goal for the magical future when I can get more advanced tech. So, but you know, I'm happy with how this came out, even if it's not the most glamorous, it was kind of a fun little craft to kill some time on, and kind of a nice, hap I, and I like making these little tutorial videos, because I feel like they're a nice, happy little counterbalance to how dark my role plays can get. Also, the candy was really delicious to eat. <laughs> Can't go wrong there. Any video that requires you to eat candy must be a good one. So let me see if I can find a picture for you guys. So then just pop in there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed two because I'm not really sure off the bat which will fit. I think this is the most likely candidate. Meet my grandfather, my gramps, and my dog, Sunshine. She passed away a couple years ago, but she lived to the grand old age of 15. So we're happy about that. Just pop this right in the back. So I think it'll fit. Good, 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 good. Pop it right in there. Be a little loose. Let's see. Adjust it a little bit. There's no glass on these frames, which honestly I kind of like because the reflectiveness gets crazy sometimes. <laughs> there you go. And there is our lovely candy wrapper, upcycled, recycled picture frame. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed my rambling and some nice paper crinkling and tapping. I will be back with some new role plays later this month. And Xena 4 should be done probably by January. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your fall and get to try this at home sometime. Talk to you soon. Bye.